this is Lindy. And I'm Russell. From Love Crate Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. And today we're going to be sharing about our newly painted windows. If you have not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on amazing, affordable DIY tutorials like this one. We painted all of our window frames black. If you watched our video a couple weeks ago, we shared our entire exterior makeover, but we didn't share how we actually did the window painting, and we wanted to share that tutorial with you guys today. I think when I first suggested painting our vinyl windows, Russell thought I was crazy. Well, it was a lot of work, and I had <laughs> decent windows that were white. And honestly, we didn't know if it would work. But the results are so good. Yeah, I mean, it matches this exterior really well, and it's significantly cheaper than replacing all the windows in the house. So we're going to have a few caveats that we're going to talk about, just some points for you guys to consider when you guys paint your windows if you decide to do so, because there are some risks when you're painting the vinyl windows for sure. If you haven't seen a tour of our home before, this is our barn-shaped home. Russell's parents actually built this home with him when he was a teenager and we moved in a few years ago. We've been slowly modernizing the inside and now it was time to make the exterior match the interior. We started by painting the entire exterior and if you missed that video, I will link it in the description box for you. I'm so happy with this charcoal color, but we also wanted to paint the windows because I thought black windows against the charcoal would really just finish the whole modern exterior vibe and give us the look that we were going for. So we have definitely decided along with painting the house that we are going to try painting our vinyl and wood window frames black. Before we get started, there's a few things you need to know in case you're thinking about doing this yourself. First, I wanna say I've done a ton of research on painting vinyl windows. So there's lots of information out there. I'm gonna compile a bunch of that information into a blog post for you guys, but do your research first. One of the reasons we're moving forward with our window painting is that we don't actually have any warranty on these windows. So know that if you have a warranty on your windows, painting them, especially painting them a darker pigmented color, will void your warranty. So be aware of that before you paint. The biggest risk with painting vinyl windows any darker color is that they could warp over time. The majority of the sun a house is going to see is often on the south and the west side. The west side of our house doesn't have any vinyl windows. It's just wood windows and those ones don't have any risk of warping so we're safe there. The west side of our house only has one vinyl window so the risk is pretty low. If one window out of all of them had something happen we easily could remove and switch out one window and that would be more affordable but I'm pretty confident this is gonna work so it won't be an issue, but that was part of our thinking as we were wondering if we should move forward with this plan. Third, we actually already painted vinyl windows black and they're in our playhouse here. If you guys watched our video last year about transforming this playhouse, we actually got vinyl windows from the ReStore and we just used the black spray paint on them and they look amazing. There's no warping, no issues at all. So I'm pretty confident it's gonna look good and work well on the house as well. Those windows have been through a whole summer of 40 plus degree sunshiny weather and they're facing south. So I'm feeling very confident about this. And finally, we are definitely going to be using a vinyl safe formula. So these vinyl safe formulas by Sherwin Williams have been developed so you can paint a darker color onto vinyl. This is not one of their official vinyl safe formula colors. So I will show the combination that we used here, but because it doesn't have any black pigment, the risk of warping your vinyl windows just isn't the same. We are also gonna do one test window. We're gonna try one out, let it go through all of our typical summer elements for a few weeks and just see how it stands up before we commit to painting all of the windows. So we're just getting ready to test out a window for paint. The first step is to clean it. We took out the screen, you can see here, and um, we're just gonna clean out all the jams and areas because you can see that there's a bunch of dirt and stuff. So we're gonna wash it then let it dry and then it'll be ready for primer. But the first step is a good thorough cleaning.
Once everything was clean, we did our first coat of primer with some leftover primer we already had on hand. And then we did our first coat of the black vinyl safe paint. We did this first test coat at the beginning of the summer before we started any of our house painting because we really wanted to give it a few weeks in the sun, test it out, see how it wore and see how it did against the elements. After we were done the first coat, you could definitely see some blue and teal coloring through. So we knew for sure it was going to need a second or maybe even a third coat of the vinyl safe paint before it looked black. So before we went down the trail of painting all our windows, we wanted to do a test window and we thought worst case scenario, we just have a little area that we need to clean up if it didn't work. So what we did here is we primed it first and then we put on the PVC safe paint. And so this has stood up well, I've pressure washed it. It's been through 40 degree hot heat wave that we had um, uh, last month a couple weeks ago and it stood up well it, it, you can scratch it like it doesn't peel off so I think this is gonna work you can actually see here too how there is no black tint in it like the under like this here where I don't have full coverage it actually has like a bluey green tint but then once you get it fully covered and painted it looks black so we're really happy with how this turned out this is two coats of paint um, what we're gonna do different on the other windows is that we actually have tinted the primer um, so that it has a gray undertone in it just to help help with coverage once we decided to move forward the next step was pressure washing and cleaning all of those window frames Next, we taped off the glass of our windows using frog tape and plastic. If you're just painting your windows, you can also tape around the window frames themselves and then you can use a brush or a paint sprayer or whatever you feel comfortable with. Since we were painting the outside of our house at the same time, we couldn't tape around the outside of the frames, so we just painted everything with a brush. We wanted to use a primer so that we would have the best possible adhesion, so we used an Extreme Bond Primer and we tinted it since we were going to be adding a dark vinyl safe paint. You can see that I didn't paint the inside frame here. That's because we decided to take the inside frames out. That way we could paint it all, get nice and close to the areas where it slides without having anything drip and possibly impede any sliding or movement later. This is our vinyl safe formula paint. You can really see how blue it is when it's wet here. Now we are ready to get this up on the windows. We started on the insides. We put frog tape along the edges of the inside to prevent any bleed through to the other side that was staying white for now. And then it used a brush to get into all the strange corners and edges before moving to the outside of the window. Because we hadn't taped off anything, we used a straight edge to make sure that the paint didn't get onto the newly painted siding. Honestly, I would rather have sprayed this entire thing with a paint sprayer, but we just had a personal deadline and we wanted to get all of the painting done within a couple of weeks, so we brushed it all on. And for every exterior window, we also had a window that had been removed that we needed to paint the frame of as well. So I wanted to show you guys quickly how much blue is visible after the first coat. So after one coat, you can definitely see all of our brush marks on the window, but also lots of blue showing through. Oh, and this is gonna need to get scraped. 
If you get any runs or drips like I got here, you can just use a razor blade to gently scrape it off and it should scrape the paint right off the primer. We ended up doing three coats on every window and where we could, we also used a small roller that we just picked up at the dollar store to roll some of the vinyl safe paint on and get a nice smooth finish. When it came to the wooden window frames, we just used the same primer that we had used on the wood boards for the siding of the house. And then we used the same vinyl safe paint because we wanted the color to look the same on the wood windows and the vinyl windows. And you definitely can use that paint on both. If you watch as he paints this bay window, you can really see how the paint goes on blue and then dries black. It's such a fascinating process to me, it's actually fun to watch. So here's what the window looked like after two coats. You can see that it looked pretty good, but there were always some little spots like this where you could just see the blue hinting through. So we did give everything a third coat. Finally, even though we did tape off the inside edges of the windows, we did have a little bit of bleed through occasionally, but because this area on the inside wasn't primed, we were able to get in there and scrub it clean. And here is our finished exterior. This was a huge part of our exterior makeover this summer. I'm so glad we were able to finish painting all of our siding with that charcoal color and painting all of our window frames black. Although the white windows still could have looked nice, I think they would have stood out in the wrong way. And I'm so happy with this black against the charcoal. I think it all blends really beautifully and also blended with the brown tones that we had to keep really beautifully. I'm just overall very happy with the final design and how it all came together. Okay guys, give us all your feedback. So would you paint your windows black? Let us know in the comments below what you think and if you would do it to your own house. I'm really curious to hear you guys' thoughts. So far, I'm very happy with the results. It's already seen some high heats and it hasn't done anything funny. Um, it's bonded well. We've We'll see. I mean, I think too, maybe we'll do a review in a year or so just to see how it stood up. Yeah, it looks awesome. It definitely finished the whole feel on the house. So we're really happy with the results. Happy to have this part of our exterior makeover done. The next thing we're going to be tackling is a front porch situation right here. Right here. So stay tuned for that video. That's going to be a huge transformation and it's really going to give this house some curb appeal. Minus the curbs because we don't actually have any curbs. <laughs> If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, hit the bell so you don't miss out on future DIY and home renovation videos. Thanks so much for watching.